Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss series. But what you would notice is that the information they give you is very different from all the other ways that they have been asking you. When we're starting, the basic rule for all arithmetic and geometric sequences that we were talking was that when you start, you will always put down T, N, N, A, and D. Or if it's geometric, it would be an R. That rule still applies. If you follow that golden rule, you're going to always be okay. Now let's take the following question. Determine the first three terms. So they want us to state the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence. So they are telling you that we are working with a difference and not a ratio. If the fourth term is equal to minus 13 and the seventh term is equal to minus 25. Now look at the information you are given. If we are working with the fourth term which is equal to negative 13, you're going to start by writing down your T, N, N, A and D. What information do we have here? We have that T, N is equal to negative 13. And we know that n at that specific point is equal to 4. But we don't have a and d. Now we're going to rewrite t, n, n, a, and d. And we're now going to fill in the same information for the seventh term. So when we're talking of the seventh term, we know it is equal to minus 25. So the first rule is always to fill in your T, N, N, A, and D, O, R. Next, you're going to write down the formulas. Now the formula for arithmetic is T, N is equal to A plus N minus 1, D. Okay. So we're going to first fill in the information we have using the formula. We're going to start with the first bit of information we have. Then we're going to do the same for the second bit of information. Now, I know that Tn is minus 13. So remember, I'm using the standard formula. So we have minus 13, which we are substituting into Tn, is equal to a, which we don't have, plus, now we have n, it is 4. So we have 4 minus 1, and then we have d, which is an unknown. So we finally have minus 13 is equal to a plus 3d. Now let's do the same with the, with the next information we have. We have minus 25 is equal to Remember, we are substituting into the standard formula. So we have minus 25 is equal to, we don't have A, plus we have N, which is 7, minus 1 times D. We now have minus 25, A plus 6D. Now look at what you have. You have two equations with two unknowns. Okay, so number one, we substituted into the T, N, N, A, D, and R. Then number two, we used the formula and we substituted all known values. The third step is simultaneous equations. If you look, we have two unknowns and we have two unknowns. Now let's start with this one. Let us make A the subject of the formula. We have A is equal to minus 13 minus 3D. If you are not familiar with simultaneous equations, you need to go to our grade 11 videos where we had discussed solving for x. If you look at this simultaneous equation, this is a level 1 simultaneous equation, which means you are going to find it in our grade 10 syllabus under solve for x. Now we're going to take this a, we substitute it 
in the a of the second equation we now solve for d knowing all your previous information and knowing how to solve for x or how to solve for an unknown you should get that d is equal to minus 4. Now from this step to this step there are many in between steps. If you cannot do this work then you are not ready for matric because from the step of minus 25 to the step of minus 4 is all grade 10 work where we join the d's we get 3d we take the 13 over we get minus 12 and then we divide now once we have d we take d back to the original equation where we started so we have a is equal to minus 13 minus 3 and d is minus 4. a is equal to minus 1. Once you are done finding a and d, you need to go back and check did you answer the question. The question states determine the first three terms. You are not done. You have a and you have d. So the first term you know is minus 1. To determine the second term. You know that it's a plus d. So it's minus 1 minus 4 which gives you minus 5. Then we have minus 9. a plus 2d. Once you've done that you've given them term 1, term 2 and term 3. Make sure that when you're doing these sums that you answer the question. Many people stop at a and d and then they don't continue with the final answer. Thank you for watching.